Hey everyone. All right, let's do an extension of that reading that I just did. We did a new love reading and it's asking how this person is going to view you. They're going to view you for, so if you're in that energy group, that is, you might meet them when you're stressed out. You might have like resting bitch face or you're, you're going through a lot, or you might not be over an ex because there was something in that reading where it was saying you might become off a little guarded. They're going to see you as like a queen or king of swords type at first. Like, they're not going to be 100% sure if they can trust it, but they're going to be spiritually guided. Like, intuitively, their spirit guides are going to lead them to be patient and give you the benefit of the doubt. And they're going to eventually, you know, see you as a king or queen of t cups type. You know, you might not be in your normal current energy, or again, they might just meet you like when you're having a bad day or a bad week or... Um, you know, maybe not over an ex. They might there's some hesitation, some fear of getting hurt, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna work through it. They're they're gonna get past that energy. So let's do an extension of that. So what comes next after they see you as this Queen of Cups type, after they they trust their intuition and realize that they are being spiritually, you know, this new love is being spiritually led to you. How are they gonna um see you after that? Knight of Pentacles. King of Swords, the Chariot, Two of Wands. They're going to want to give you a stable offer, loyalty, uh, you know, something stable there. King of Swords can be a little bit logical, so it's like they're going to move forward with you, but they're going to do it in a way that's, you know, kind of logical and grounded and balanced as they get to know you, kind of taking it slow. And if this resonates with you, I would check out the old readings too, because this kind of goes hand in hand with what we were getting, where this person is in a position of power, like a leadership role. Maybe people go to them for advice, for help. And so they're really cautious to make sure that they're not just being used for, for status, for money, for fame, for sex. They really want to make sure something's solid. So I feel like they're going to make the decision that they do want to pursue this with you, but they're just going to do it in kind of a, a logical, balanced way as they get to know you. But tell me more about how are they going to see this? How are they going to see you? They're going to want to build something here long term. Why, why this energy? Hmm. Tell me more about this Two of Swords, Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands. If there's something blocking you two from moving forward together, they're going to ask you to end it. So this might be like that situation where if there is somebody else, they're going to basically almost give you an ultimatum where they're like, they're going to, you know, this person's honest. This person's going to be like, hey, I know you still, you know, I know you still have feelings for this person from your past. Um, or there's some kind of block here and they're going to ask you to, to remove that block. Whatever deception or illusion or any kind of blocks, they're going to say, hey, like, I do see something here, but... You know, I, I want you to stand your ground and I want you to clear this energy because I don't want to pursue this if you might go back to somebody from your past. I want a sure thing. Tell me what happens after that. The sun. So if you choose this person over the past person, I feel like... Tell me more about how they're going to see you. They're going to see you as the high priestess, as the sun, someone that's intuitive, that's spiritual, queen of cups, wheel of fortune, someone they want to build something with. Tell me more about how, they, how they're going to see you. I feel like this person's going to want to invest in you. It's like they're going to see that you're a queen or king of cups deep down, but I almost feel like you're going to be very damaged or very distrusting. Like you're still going to give this a chance, I think, but you're going to be a little bit cautious. And I think that they're going to feel they're going to feel that you're worth the investment is what I'm feeling. That you're worth the effort. Yeah, justice. 
Eight of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords? They know you've been through a lot. They know that they know you're kind of in an eight of swords mentality. You might meet them. You might meet this person when you're kind of in an eight of swords mentality where you're a little bit, um, just a little bit guarded, a little bit, again, not quite over the past person, a little bit sad, a little bit confused where you're open to new love, but you're just a little, you know, a little on the fence. You're like, can I really trust people? Uh, I've been heartbroken so many times and I feel like this is your divine justice because you've been there for so many people and now it's like you have someone that is there for you, someone that sees you as worth the investment. It's like they're going to wait. They're going to they're going to they're going to be patient with you. They're going to they're going to be this king of cups for you. They're going to be a reliable support system for you. So don't take that for granted. This person this person will be loyal and loving and supportive. But if you take this person for granted, they will be quick to be like, bye. You know what I mean? Like this person will give you the shirt off their back. This person's very loyal. But people that use them get cut out real quick. So be mindful of that. Or people that take it for granted. You know what I mean? Like if you if you kind of sabotage or push this person away, they're they're not they're not someone that's gonna deal with that. So so be find that balance between, you know, healing and, and feeling your feelings and being honest with this person about your past and what you've been through and where you're at, but also being open with them and, and giving them a, a chance to show you something different, something new, something maybe you you haven't experienced before possibly. Okay. Okay, so once you guys get past this hurdle, once you guys get past the, you know, the beginning stages, really, you know, developing trust with each other, how how are they how is it going to develop? How are they going to see you? They're going to leave behind anything that like any secrets that they had, they're going to leave that energy behind because they're going to want something with you. They're going to you're going to inspire them to transform and to be authentic with you because they're going to see this as like a soulmate twin flame bond. Tell me more about how this new person's going to view you. Sorry, my allergies are acting up. more about this. Tell me more about how they're going to view you. What are they going to, um, what are they going to admire about you? I'll word it that way. What are they going to, what are they going to be turned on by about you? Your curiosity, your adventurous side, your willingness to learn, the way you communicate, the way you carry yourself. You believe in love like they do, too. I feel like you believe in love. Why the devil? Three of Cups. I feel like you guys have both been put in third party situations that caused you a lot of, you know, in insomnia, anxiety, distrust. They're going to connect with you on that in that level too. They're going to understand what that feels like. So you guys are going to relate on that kind of deep level. Um tell me more about this. Tell me more about how what what is this new person going to uh, admire about you? How are they going to view you? They're going to see similarities between the two of you as they get to know you. Um, Ten of Wands is like somebody, like the, somebody that just can't handle it anymore. Somebody that can't handle the burdens. And it's almost like, like the straw that broke the camel's back, but you were strong and you rebuilt yourself. 
So they're going to admire that. They're going to admire that independence, that side of you where it's like you persevere. You know what I mean? Like you, you've gone through a lot on your own. You've maybe had a difficult life. You've had to carry these burdens, carry the weight of the world on your own. And you've had to be strong and pick up the pieces on your own. And you've been victorious. You know, you're still driven maybe outspoken and adventurous too. Queen of Swords, like you don't mess around. You know what I mean? Like you're honest, you're you're genuine. You've you had a lot of life experience and you don't you don't you don't mess around. You're you're who you are, take it or leave it, you know? The tower, it's like everything you've been through, you've come out stronger. So they're gonna really admire those qualities about you. Um, those qualities that weaker men or weaker women might have been intimidated by other people might have been afraid of how honest or how outspoken you were or they might have just seen it as just drama they might not have understood you they might have um, this person's gonna get you like they're gonna understand your life experience they're gonna understand they're gonna admire how you rebuilt yourself they're going to admire like open, honest communication, just how you tell the truth, how you're, you are who you are. They're really going to um, admire that energy. I almost feel like for some, it might take them a bit of time to understand you where it's like at first it's like they might. They might, it's, it's like, I feel like this person's going to be curious about you too, because they, they can read everybody so easily. This person's wise, this person's intelligent, this person's like the alpha, the leader, but with you, they're, they're going to, you're more mysterious. Like they're going to have a, a diff more difficult time reading you because they're going to see that you might be guarded to some degree, but it's like, as they get to know you, it's like, they're going to, they're going to understand why they're going to understand that you do have that depth there. It's like they're going to have like an aha moment where they're going to see your soul. They're going to, they're going to, they're like, something's going to click. You know what I mean? Where they really get to know you on a deeper level. It's like, it's almost like they're going to be really drawn towards you, but they're not going to fully understand why at first. Like they're going to think you're beautiful and you're interesting and they're curious about you, but they're not like, you're very mysterious, you know? But tell me, so when they have that aha moment, how are they going to see you? Like once they have that kind of epiphany, they're like, oh, this is why they are the way they are. This is, you know, they, they've been through a lot. They have that life experience, like something, maybe you're going to have like a deep conversation. They're just going to get to know you better. They're going to understand you better. Tell me more about how they're going to see you. New perspective. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like almost like a shift where, and they're they're not gonna be. This person's not gonna be emotionally unavailable with you. This isn't, this isn't your energy group or your reading. If this person's emotionally unavailable, because I, I would never, I wouldn't encourage someone to go for someone that's emotionally unavailable. This is more someone who's going to be pursuing you, but they're not going to fully understand why they're so drawn to you, why they're so intuitively led to you. You know what I mean? Like they're going to ask you out and go for coffee and talk to you, but almost like you're, you're both kind of playing it cool a little bit and not wearing your heart on your sleeve. And you, you both have this intuitive sense that there's something deeper there, that there could be a soul connection there, but you've both been hurt a lot. So you're kind of getting to know each other and, and feeling it out and seeing how it goes. Um, and then something's going to click where it gets deeper, where there's like a, like a conversation, like an aha moment where, um, they realize there's, there's more, like you're more intelligent than you seem or more, more emotionally deep. There's going to have that aha moment where they're like, oh, this is why I was led to them. This person does resonate with me. They're going to, they're going to get excited about it too. They're going to hold on to you. They're going to. They're going to have some kind of, their spirit guides are going to give them some kind of truth and clarity about you. After this aha moment, tell me more about how they're going to view you and the connection. Yeah, they're going to want to, like, once this, it, it's kind of like a, so I want you guys to get the energy difference between, because it's so easy to get caught up making excuses for people. Don't get caught up making excuses. This is not, this is someone who's going to take it slow with you, but this is not somebody who's going to 
play games or be distant or, you know, be emotionally unavailable. It's not that energy. This is, you know, again, like they're going to be pursuing you, but they're, they're not going to be super emotional at first. They're just going to be, it's like, let's go out and have coffee. Let's talk. Let's get to know each other. Let's, you know, see what happens. And I feel like they're going to be doing research on you, looking into you. But yeah, something's going to happen and you're going to know that moment. I feel like it's going to be, it could be something that you post that they see online, but I feel like for most of you, it's going to be, it's going to be, there's like an epiphany that's going to come in, like an aha moment. I feel like it's going to be like a conversation though, where you guys might have like a deep conversation and it's almost like they, um, maybe there's something that they might misunderstand about you and they're going to understand it when you have this conversation. You know what I mean? Like if you're kind of guarded and maybe this person is like kind of confused at first, they're like, well, I feel so spiritually drawn to them. I feel like my spirit guides are pushing me towards this person. And I don't think they're shallow, but I also don't understand why they're guarded. I don't understand why they're, I don't know what's there because it's, it's like hidden from me. And then it's almost like it's just going to be revealed at the right time. Like their spirit guides are going to reveal your soul to this person sort of thing when the timing is right. Does that make sense? Like it's just kind of, kind of, uh, it's just going to kind of happen. You know what I mean? I feel like it's going to. I feel like it's going to happen quickly, you know? I mean, you might be moving slowly, but I feel like the, the big reveal will happen quickly, I guess I should say. Like, it might be a period of getting to know each other or so for a couple months or whatnot, and then it's like that deep conversation happens, and they're like, oh, wow, there's, there is a lot more to you. Like, there was, there is a reason I feel so drawn to you. There is something there. And they're, yeah, they're going to have like a new understanding of you. They're going to be like, okay, she's guarded because she's, she does have that depth or he does have that depth. He's guarded because he went, maybe you open up about like your past or something you've been through um, or some kind of, um, I'm hearing like trauma, like childhood trauma. I'm, I'm picking up a couple different types of trauma. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say it on YouTube. I try not to say it. Sometimes I pick up that energy, but you, you know what kind of traumas I'm talking about that I can't probably shouldn't say on YouTube too much, but something like that. Um, and yeah, they're going to, they're going to have this like awareness. They're like, okay, that's why she's hesitant or guarded. That's why, you know, it's like a truth is going to come out. There's going to be like clarity for them and they're going to be like, okay, this person's worth it. This person is my, my wish to film. And I do want to pursue this Knight of cups, nine of cups. Why the four of cups? Temperance. Nine of Wands, the Knight of Swords. What? They might be afraid of rejection a little bit. There's just going to be information coming in where they're going to be like, okay, this person's worth it. This person is, they're going to see you as somebody who is damaged, who is, um, I don't know if like broken is the right word, but they're going to see you as somebody who has been through a lot, who has gone through it, but they're going to see, they're going to want to invest in you. They're going to be like, well, this is, this person's a good person. They're going to see your heart. They're going to see your soul. They're going to be like, this is, this is worth it. You know what I mean? Like this person's worth it, but I have to proceed with caution. Tell me more. It's almost like a slow build. And then there's almost like this, like energy behind the scenes, like your spirit guides working behind the scenes. And then this kind of like, epiphany moment where you guys are both like oh hey there's something real here there's something solid here you know tell me let's wrap this up tell me more about how they're going to see you ace of cups page of pentacles the hermit Yeah, they're going to do some meditating on it and they're going to decide they do want to build something here that they do want to offer something here that they do want some kind of commitment with you. I feel like that's when the sexual energy is going to come in more too. When they, they realize that there's something potentially solid here. They're going to want to work with you as a team. I just feel like they want to invest in you. Like they want to, they, they know, they understand that you're damaged. They understand like if you deal with like mental instability or mental illness, it's almost like they're going to... um. They're going to be cautious, but they're going to be understanding and empathetic at the same time. And they're still going to see it as worth it. Does that make sense? It's like 
they're going to see it as like, this is something I have to work for. Like they're going to see it as, you know, they have to work to gain your trust. They're going to see it as like, you know, this might not be easy, but they're going to be like, there is something like, they're going to see something in you. They're going to see the potential in you. They're going to see your soul. They're going to see your heart. They're going to see past, um, that they're going to see past the, the exterior. They're going to want to work with you. Why the five of pentacles? Why the five of cups? What's being left behind here? Okay, I'm just going to have to say it because it's coming out for somebody. And I, like I said, I try, try not to. For, this is a message for someone. For someone here, you have sexual trauma. I'm sorry, I just, I had to say it because it keeps coming out. Because the Knight of Wands can be like sexual, like fuck boy, fuck girl energy. And I was asking what needs to be left behind. I feel like that might also be the energy. And this is like childhood, like Six of Cups. So some, some of you went through something sexual, some kind of trauma. And I feel like this person is going to, um, that's just for like one or two of you. And I feel like this person is going to know that they have to be patient with you because of that. Like you might not be ready to be sexual with them or you might be a little bit like standoffish or a little bit afraid of men or afraid of women because of what you've been through and so I feel like at first they might misunderstand that energy where they're going to be like why why is she, what, why are they, what are they afraid of like what did I do like what's going on and they're gonna you you might eventually open up to this person and be like hey I went through this in childhood or I, I was physically abused by my ex or I was you know, I went through a sexual trauma in my childhood or with, with past relationship or something like that. Like you're going to open up about something and it's going to cause them like a perspective shift where they're going to be like, okay, I understand, you know, I understand this energy now. I understand why you're afraid or why you're guarded. Um, I, I think you're worth it anyway. I want to work. I want to, you know, I, I want something here with you. I do want to build something with you. Um, and be patient with you as long as you're willing to put in the work too. As long as you're willing to work on trusting someone again and opening your heart up again, I'll be here for you. I'll be supportive. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's a good energy because it's like this person isn't just going to run for the hills. They're going to, um, they're going to really be empathetic enough to try to understand, you know, who you are as a person and, and what you've been through. And they're going to give you that safe space to open up about your traumas. So it's a really good energy. I'm going to put this out there. But um, but yeah, I feel like they're going to I feel like they're going to think very highly of you. We're going to get more into it. I think there's because I think they're going to be really drawn to you. I think there, there's going to be a lot of love here, I think, for sure. And we're probably going to do another reading on that in the near future. Um, but this is like, you know, the kind of the first steps, uh, what you needed to know. So I'm going to I'm going to put this out. Thank you for watching.